two, one, one. Fight, fight. Ladies and gentlemen, and non binary friends, welcome back to the Nerd Explosion, the weekly podcast where, based on a monthly topic, I nerd out about whatever I want. As always, I'm your host, Cameron. I'm doing this episode a little different because if you're watching this on Spotify, yes, that's right, I said of watching, I'm doing a video podcast for this episode. I'm just you know, trying it out, because I know Anchor lets me do video podcasts through Spotify, so, you know, trying it out. If you guys like it, I'll keep doing them. If you don't, then I'll, I'll save my time, you know, because it's going to take a lot of editing to do just this one. So I'm trying it out, you know, just let me know what you guys think. But anyway, on to the topic of today's episode. As you know, I made September one-off month, which basically means that I'm dedicating one thing to one episode just to kind of get some ideas out of there. You know, some ideas that I only have an idea for one episode for. I can't base a whole month around it. And the first episode, I did Restaurant Tier List. Second episode, I did NSP Radio, you know, where I covered a bunch of Ninja Sex Party songs because I was lazy. And today's episode, I want to do something a little different. I noticed that you guys seem to really like my... Uh, season 4 of Stranger Things episode, my Stranger Things 4 episode, I should say. You guys seem to really like that, so I had the idea, what if I do an episode kind of piggybacking off of that, <laughs> see what I did there, <laughs> kind of piggybacking off of that, to uh, uh, do an episode talking about season 5, my predictions for season 5. So I just, you know, I wanted to give my personal predictions, I know a lot of people have their own predictions on stuff, and you know, I just wanted to give my... Give me a little predictions, you know, see what we might be looking forward to in season five. But before I get into that, new episodes of this podcast come out every Saturday, so make sure you like, follow, just do all the things that do all the stuff. With that being said, let's get in to Stranger Things season five predictions. All right, Stranger Things Season 5 predictions. I actually got some down on my uh, my notes app on my phone, and there's not a whole lot I have right now, but I figured what I have, it's, you know, it'd be worth going into. So let's start with the first thing. Actually, let's start from the bottom and go our way up. Uh, Will will officially come out as gay. Now, I only predicted this because Noah Schnapp, the guy who plays Will, you know, came out and was like, yeah, Will's gay. And even if he didn't come out and say it, it's pretty obvious that Will has some sort of some sort of feeling towards Mike. And I definitely think Will, you know, will probably come out as gay in season five. There's actually been a discussion about how people you know, how Will will come out as gay or how people will accept him, like the whole group and everything. Uh everybody else, everybody will be supportive. Jonathan's already supportive because of that whole speech he had in uh the uh, the last episode of stri- of season four, you know, Will, Jonathan had that whole speech of like, you know, no matter what you're like or whatever, I will always be there for you. I'll always be your brother. And that was a really sweet moment. And it also shows that Jonathan may know more than he's leading on. He may already know that there's something up with Will, but I guess we'll see. But I definitely think Will will officially come out his day in season five. Everybody will be accepting. Eleven will have to be, you know, Eleven will need some some teaching because I don't know if she knows what gay is. But being that it's the 80s, it might be hard for him to just be open about it because this is, uh, I'm guessing it might still be 86 or 87 when season five comes around. But yeah, you know, Will coming out as gay, that's going to be, that's going to be hard for him for sure. Next on my list, <laughs> I just put... Kind of obvious, but I think most of the citizens of Hawkins will either perish or become pawns of the Upside Down. Now, that's kind of just on the nose, because we saw at the end of Season 4, uh, the Upside Down tore rifts into Hawkins. And I definitely think a lot of people are going to lose their lives. Like, I think that's just a given at this point. A lot of people are going to lose their lives. A lot of people are going to be, you know, sworn into the Upside Down Army whether it's Vetna controlling them or some bigger threat. Because, I mean, while Vetna did say that he controls the Upside Down, I, th- I still think there is a bigger there's a bigger threat to Hawkins and, like, the world in general. There's, like, you know, like, with the Mind Flayer, the Mind Flayer was a big thing, but we found out that the Mind Flayer was being controlled by Vetna. But then, you know, it's possible that there is something that's controlling Vetna, too. And that's just, that's the whole... 
That's my whole thing with it. I feel like there's a bigger threat, and I feel like a lot of people are, are going to die in season five. Like most of like most of Hawkins, probably some main characters, but I don't know. Yeah, I think a lot of you know most of Hawkins is going to perish or become part of the upside down army. Next on this list, I got Max will return when most needed. Now, spoilers if you haven't seen season four, by the way, but Max is killed by Vetna in season four. Excuse me. Max is killed by Vetna in season four, but then is brought back by Eleven into like a, a coma-like state. So technically she's alive, but she's not, you know, actively well. She's just, you know, she's there. She's, she's comatose, basically. And what I think is going to happen is that she's going to remain in a coma for most of season five until like the right moment. And then like Lucas is going to deliver some big overall like, oh, I love you. I've always loved you. You're, you know, the light of my life. And then Max will wake up and then play some important role. And I, while I'm on that subject, I think Max is going to have another thing with Billy, whether it's like a like a redemption thing, like a final, final realization like, I, f I feel like there's going to be a scene where in her coma, she's going to have a dream, you know, talking with Billy, but it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one, and they're going to have like a heart to heart and we're finally going to get some resolution for, you know, Billy's attitude and everything. Because as we all know, Billy was absolutely just cruel to Max, but now that she's in a coma, I feel like she's going to have a whole dream thing where she talks with Billy and she kind of works things out from the afterlife, you know? So that's what I think is going to happen with Max. Uh, <laughs> next I got on this list, Eddie will return. Now, spoilers again, if you haven't seen season four, Eddie dies. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's sad. I didn't want to see him die. He's a lot of people's favorite character. But I, I, I would think we would see him return. A lot of people think he's going to return in like a, like a vampire-ish state or whatever, or like undead state or whatever. But I guess, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But I think Eddie will return in some capacity, whether he comes back from the dead or there's like a whole flashback scene or he's now part of the Upside Down Army. I don't know. I just want to see. Uh, oh, this one I already kind of talked about, but I'll repeat it anyway. Vetna will still play an important role, but will not be the main villain. And that, again, goes back to my whole point of, like, while Vetna was, like, the end-all, be-all, or, like, the main person behind the Upside Down, I definitely think there's something else. There's some, there's something bigger, you know? There's something bigger than Vetna in the Upside Down. And I would definitely, personally, I would love for Vetna not to be the main thing behind the Upside Down. I would love for there to be, like, a bigger threat, like, something bigger than Vetna. But, yeah, that's what I hope. You know, hopefully we get to see that. <laughs> Next, I got Joyce and Hopper will get married. You want to see it? I want to see it. Joyce and Hopper need to get together. They need to either get married or they need to fuck. One of these two things has to happen. I demand it, Duffer Brothers. Let Joyce and Hopper fuck. Th 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 <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on. <laughs> uh, next one, I got Eleven will sacrifice herself to save Hawkins. Now, we've seen in the past seasons where Eleven demonstrates a lot of power to, like, solve a thing. Whether it's her, you know, taking care of the Mind Flare or back in season one, dealing with the Demi Gorgon. Season 2, her closing the gate. I feel like she's going to demonstrate a lot of power closing all the gates. But that that excess of power, like her exuding all that power, that's what's going to kill her. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want Mike and Eleven to get married. I want him to, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I think a good way to end off Stranger Things as a whole would be for Eleven to sacrifice herself. So I think Eleven, you know, Eleven should definitely, oh, I don't, I don't want her to die, but Eleven will probably die in season five because I think she will, you know, use every bit of her willpower to save Hawkins. And that is ultimately what's going to kill her. Uh, last thing I got on here, Will will be the main focus 
the series started with him, so it should end with him. Uh, again, going back to season four, when Vetna came back or whatever, or yeah, when Vetna came back at the end, Will was the one that sensed it. And, you know, from season one, we saw that Will was one of the first, well, we, Will was one of the first victims we saw of the Upside Down. Obviously, there were people before that, but the first person we ever see taken by like a Demi Gordon or whatever, having to deal with the Upside Down was Will. And Will played a major part of the Upside Down, you know, throughout the whole series. Like, he can still sense Vetna and everything. So, if Eleven doesn't sacrifice herself, I think Will will. I think Will will, you know, he'll sacrifice himself for the greater good because he obviously cares a lot about his friends. So I think he's willing to put his life on the line to help out his friends. And uh, ultimately, that would be the way to go. I really want to see that. I really hope that happens. So Duffer Brothers, make it happen. <laughs> uh, but that's all the season five predictions I had. It's This is a short little episode, but also I am experimenting with a video podcast. So... Yeah, I just want to make it short, just to try to get that concept out of there. Also, if you're watching a video podcast, you're going to see something pretty, pretty disturbing. For those of you that are listening, I just ate a Cheeto with chopsticks. But I actually recommend that. Like, if you're doing computer stuff or you're doing podcast stuff, and you want a snack during it, use chopsticks. Like, I'm eating Cheetos, but I'm using chopsticks. That way I don't get cheesy fingers, and I don't get everything covered in cheese or whatever. But... Anyways, enough of my eating habits. I think I'm gonna call it an episode there. What are your guys' predictions for Stranger Things Season 5? Let me know on social media. The link is in the lip tree in the description of this episode. Just also, you know, just explore around. Explore around that link tree. You'll find some good stuff in there. Like the Discord. I'm really trying to grow the Discord. So if you want to hop in there and just say hi, you know, you can go ahead and do that. But I suppose with that being said, I'm going to call it an episode. I hope you guys are drinking plenty of water. I hope you guys are staying positive out there. Do really positive things. Hopefully you enjoyed. For those of you watching, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my face. And I've been Cameron. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Nerd Nerd out. out.